My name is Janice Kurkowski, K-U-R-K-O-S-K-I. I have chaired the Warwick Mass Buildings and Energy Committee for the last eight years. My comments are aimed at the perceived need for additional fossil fuel infrastructure, as presented to the DPU by many in the fossil fuel industry, including Berkshire Gas. The town of Warwick has dramatically reduced energy use in its town buildings over the last eight years. Our town hall oil use is down over 60%. Our school oil use is down 53% without switching fuels. These numbers include the two most recent winters, the coldest winters in the last 10 years. The majority of the savings resulted from fixing the leaks in the buildings using low-cost weatherization me measures, local labor, and common sense. The money spent to do this stayed in the local economy. The savings stayed in the taxpayers' pockets. The projected $5 billion to construct the proposed pipeline, which was only $2.7 billion one year ago, would buy a heck of a lot of insulation, create a whole army of jobs, and stay, save struggling homeowners and businesses from ever-rising energy costs. dollars could also pay upfront without incentives for 300,000 residential sized solar systems generating 324 million dollars worth of electricity per year. So grid operator, operators will need to innovate, utility companies will need to change the way they do business. But building a costly, publicly funded, privately operated new infrastructure plowing through farm field and forest based on a promise of cheap fossil fuel that uses dubious extraction methods and ultimately continuing to use the atmosphere as an open sore is definitely not in the public interest. Okay, my name is Jane, J-A-N-E, Shaney, S-H-A-N-E-Y. I'm from Asheville, Massachusetts. Um, based on testimony posted on June 4th uh, in DPU docket 1548, it appears Portland Natural Gas Transmission System is already in a position to supply gas to New England. This in and of itself would seem to eliminate the need for an agreement between Berkshire Gas and the Tennessee Gas Pipeline and perhaps the need for the NED project altogether. Um, but for me, um, this comes down to something that I would like to remind you of as uh, Department of Public Utilities. There's something called the Public Trust Doctrine, which became uh, part of common law uh, in 1892. This is the principle that every sovereign government holds vital resources and trust for the public, that is, present and future generations of citizen beneficiaries. The public trust doctrine obligates, obligates, the government as trustees of the public trust to protect our natural resources and requires trust management for public benefit rather than private exploit. And I'd like to repeat that. It requires trust management for public benefit rather than private exploit. From my perspective, the public trust has been violated when the regulatory commissions, through the permitting process, legalize the destruction of the very resources the government has been entrusted to protect, thereby moving toward bankruptcy, bankrupting the trust, i.e. our natural resources, and doing so in peril the life of all living organisms. Please keep that in mind as you take a look at this whole agreement um, because I feel really strongly that we cannot afford these agreements anymore. We can't afford these pipelines. We have to look to alternatives. And there's been incredible testimony from people here and I have to say I, I'm privileged and proud to be a part of this community. Um, our, the, 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 life, the life of this planet, the health and integrity of this planet.
the Prince of So on behalf of Denise Andrews, Andrews, A-N-D-R-E-W-S, um, dear DPU hearing officers, thank you for being here this evening to gather knowledge and input from citizens. Massachusetts leads in democracy and government only when government leaders serve the people and not special interests and companies. Our government is to be of, for, and by the people, and there is a growing consensus and will that we in Massachusetts do not need or want expansion of pipelines for fact, fracked natural gas for export or domestic use, and that we do, do want to continue to lead in reduced consumption, conservation, green technologies, and sound and respectful energy, environmental, and property rights policies and practices. Tonight, I and others are asking you to deny this approval simply because, one, there is not a proven, validated domestic need for increasing capacity. Energy consumption is projected to be flat through 2024, according to ISO New England. Quote, when projected uh, efficiency, uh, energy efficiency savings are factored in, energy consumption over the next decade remains essentially flat and growth in peak demand is dampened. Number two, we desire to address our domestic energy needs in a more responsible and sustainable way through reduced consumption, green energy, and conservation, and desire other states and countries also to choose these solutions. These choices and solutions will better serve current and future generations. Three, we also desire to minimize our environmental impact, honor our leading work and establish commitments in conservation and open space stewardship, and respect individuals' property rights. We know after extensive engagement and research that the proposed pipeline is not the best choice and does not meet our desires. Additionally, two points. First, prior to any additional infrastructure approval, existing infrastructure inefficiencies leaks must be addressed as part of an overall responsible energy solution. Second, there appears to be very inaccurate data and potentially manipulated data and practice occurring in setting occurring in setting energy supply models, sourcing, and recent electrical prices and rates. We look to you, DPU, to continue to hold all companies to the standards that are, that are in the best interest and in the desire and will of us, the citizens. In closing, thank you again for being here and soliciting broad citizen input. I and we are asking you to hear and serve us, the people of Massachusetts, and to deny approval for Berkshire Gas Company's request and any requests that allow the unneeded and unwanted Kinder Morgan Tennessee Gas NED project. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Ted Cady, C-A-D-Y, Chair of the Warwick Mass Planning Board. Warwick will be substantially and specifically impacted by approval of this application as it will provide a basis for a new pipeline through the town of Warwick, causing an impact unique to our town. We are opposed to the DPU approving this application until the archaic management of Berkshire Gas is reformed. Berkshire Gas <laughs> regularly reports to the DPU, so should have been aware of impending supply constraints years ago and instituted energy conservation measures as recommended by Mass Energy Policy and Franklin Regional Energy Policy. It did not. As an example, I noticed my propane gas use increasing, found a leak, and had the gas company fix it. I did this in lieu of getting a bigger tank or more frequent deliveries. <laughs> I replaced my old furnace with a new one and saved 40 to 60 percent on my energy bill. Am I that much smarter than a major regional gas company? Berkshire Gas should have aggressively fixed its leaks. It should have instituted a program to replace old, efficiency inefficient furnaces and heaters with high efficiency ones. It might even have used performance contracting to reduce the impact on ratepayers of capital upgrades while at the same time creating a profit center. It did none of these. Instead, it is demonstrating a lust for more gas while failing in its duty to be a responsible corporate citizen. 
This should not be rewarded. Berkshire Gas's application should be denied until it gets its management house in order and demonstrates good corporate citizenship by instituting appropriate measures to make better use of the gas it is now receiving. Thank you.